hi it has been a while since i've done anything on the blog in the vlog world and i have had a whopping two requests to do some sort of update so shout out to charlotte and sarah for being great supporters and encouraging me to come back to this hobby that I actually started eight years ago. Daily Boobs and Grooves is eight years old and I have not posted anything since June of this year. I am excited to write again, vlog again. So just to jump back into things, maybe it's my laziness and not wanting to type, but here is a little weekend in the life vlog. It is November 20. Six, the day after Thanksgiving, Black Friday as some people call it. I actually worked today, but we are about to close out the week and head into the weekend, so come along. End of day pull-ups are so much harder. I've eaten so much food today. Happy Saturday. It is about 8.45 in the morning and I'm going to go to mass at 9 a.m. Uh, do a little bit of prayer time there. And then after that, I have some work-related things to do, CCD planning, some religious education class planning that I still teach. I still teach seventh grade, Sunday mornings. I did a week in the life a year ago and I was watching that recently. And a lot of things have changed, but also a lot of things have not changed. So it's, it's fun to see all the little nuances that are a little bit different. One of them is that I say morning prayer, evening prayer, and night prayer every day with the Liturgy of the Hours, um, which is the church's official prayer. This lovely book is gonna come with me, but I have to go to Mass now. So I just finished with Mass and I was praying in the church for um, a little while afterward and I thought that there was going to be like a funeral at like 11 so it's 10 o'clock now then all of a sudden this small little like memorial prayer service starts <laughs> and I'm the only other person besides these like few family members here and I had no idea that it was starting so it started and nobody told me that I should leave maybe. It was somewhat mortifying because it was so quiet and the priest was praying and I was like I just need to leave and get out of here and I wasn't like towards the back of the church I was like towards the front so I needed to scoop myself on out of there but I, I don't think it was an issue that I was there it was just awkward now I'm gonna go home and have breakfast. So something else that I have tried to do in the past several weeks is to make mealtimes silent, obviously unless I'm eating with somebody. I try not to be on my phone, try not to use it to check emails or watch videos or even listen to podcasts. It's not that, that any of those things are bad, but I've been trying to reserve this time as like a time to still be in like a prayerful mode and spending time with the Lord and just letting myself process and enjoy the food, which I'm totally not always <laughs> perfect at doing that. Sometimes I do get distracted. I'm like, oh, I need to check my email for this. I need to do this. Otherwise I won't have time. So it's, it's not always perfect, but it's something that I've tried to be a little bit more intentional about. Thank God for breakfast. We'll be back in a second. All right, next order of business is to do a little bit of training for work, um, training to be a clinical instructor. And so I recently obtained a student who is doing her clinical rotation here with me for four weeks. And so I have to learn to make sure that I am assessing her properly, which is crazy because I was only recently a student just a year, uh, two years ago. So it's really a wonderful opportunity. I'm really humbled to be able to do it. But I have to learn how to be on the other side of it. It, not the student side. And then after that, in about an hour, there is a Semper Stronger live kettlebell workout that my friends Rebecca and Joel are hosting. If you follow me on Instagram, I post a lot of videos of myself doing some kettlebell moves from their workouts of the day. You can subscribe to be a member of Semper Stronger. They're awesome, such wonderful people. So we'll do that workout. Half of the proceeds, they're gonna donate to Toys for Tots um, today too. So that's really cool. Hello, Miss Allison. Hi, how are you guys? So good. I love seeing your face here
right, that was a really fun workout. It was a spicy 30 minute workout. It was every 30 seconds on the 30 seconds rather than every minute on the minute. And so the 30 seconds really passed by quickly, even though it was only like three to five reps of exercises, it was relatively heavy because it was double kettlebell. So it was fun. Always good to see Rebecca and Joel. It's like 40 degrees, if that outside, but I like to try to work out outside with the fresh air, at least in the garage. And I warm up pretty quickly with the kettlebells. So I'm gonna pull on a jacket and go on a little rosary walk for some fresh air. Also, a fun fact is that my brother was cleaning out his closet yesterday and giving away some t-shirts and he wanted to see if I wanted anything from his closet. He was about to throw out this Kool-Aid Man t-shirt and I was like, I can make a little workout shirt out of that. So I cut off the sleeves like a bro and I made a muscle tank out of it and I'm pretty happy with it. Look at how happy he is. It matches my jacket. I've got some Thanksgiving leftovers warming up in the microwave for lunch. And this is an example of where I'm actually going to be doing a little bit more of my clinical instructor training during lunch, starting to plant some CCD as well. So I'm gonna do that for a couple hours before the next thing. So I look, uh, you look fresh, you look great. There's Sarah, it's a video. <laughs> That's <laughs> so good. <laughs> It's about 3.50 right now. I just said the rosary at my church before the Saturday vigil mass. They always have volunteers to say that. So that just took like literally 15 minutes. And so I'm gonna go back home now playing CCD because I haven't been able to do that yet. song. a lovely pho, turkey pho. It was kind of just like turkey noodle soup with some nice Asian spices that weren't pho adjacent <laughs> flavors, uh, but really good. And I'm really grateful for Ben and Elaine to br have brought that over. I am currently making some enchilada sauce right now, just because I'm going to see my friend tomorrow who had a recent child, <laughs> has a recent child, um, gave birth to a son I, why don't why am I having so much difficulty explaining this? I am making her and her husband some turkey enchiladas as a meal that they can have for a couple of days. And this enchilada recipe from um, Give Me Some Oven is my favorite one. And homemade enchilada sauce is part of the deal. So we're doing that. All right, so we've made it to about 11, 10, 11, 15. The retainer is in. <laughs> Last order of business is night prayer, and then I'm going to practice the readings for tomorrow for mass. I'm going to lecture, I'm going to read. After that, I will do some leisure reading and then head to sleep. That's the tea. There's not much tea to spill, thankfully. Hi, happy Sunday. <laughs> All right, off to mass I go. It is about 7.40 a.m. I'm gonna go to 8 a.m. mass and then we'll come back home for breakfast and then I teach CCD virtually still. Not for too much longer though, um, but that'll be at 9.30. So let's get this first Sunday of Advent started. All right, back from mass. I have like two minutes to before I have to start teaching. I just made myself a really quick yogurt bowl with dates and peanut butter and banana and we'll get started on teaching. Alrighty, the chicken enchiladas are prepared. I'm gonna bake them at Lauren's place. I'm gonna bring her some desserts. We're gonna just hang out for the afternoon. I'm really excited to see her and her husband and her new baby boy. I'm gonna bring some macarons. We have so much dessert left from Thanksgiving, but yeah, off we go on a little adventure.
Okay, so I'm back home. It's about 6 p.m. I did a little bit of budgeting for this month into next month. And now I'm going to do a very quick workout because Ben and Elaine are also going to come over for dinner tonight. I really have not moved much at all today, which is fine. My body feels like it kind of needs a little rest anyway. But I am going to do a quick little burpee workout because I don't really feel like going out into the cold garage and lifting any weight today. So I'm going to do some body weight burpees, maybe 10 by 10 different variations. I used to do that a lot um, just because it's good bang for your buck and a little time efficient. So let's see what we've got. <music> Okay, so I did seven rounds of burpees and now they're here. So I'm just gonna go help them and cook. It was nice, nice to get the heart rate up. It is the end of the night. Um, whatever. I am going to head upstairs, shower, read, maybe make some Christmas cards. I need to make some Christmas cards and head to sleep. It's going to be a long week ahead, but thank you for joining me in my weekend in the life. Hope you enjoyed and I will see you on the next edition of whatever I do on the blog. But thank you for your support and for watching. God bless. Have a great week.